An optician is a, a general term and we used to be called ophthalmic opticians uh, but more recently we've taken on the title optometrist from the Americans. Um, an optometrist is a practitioner who examines patients' eyes and generally fits glasses and contact lenses. And we also look for uh, diseases of the eye and systemic problems that cause problems within the eye. We are contractor service just like general practitioners, dentists and pharmacists. And so we're contracted to the health boards. And we work under the general ophthalmic services. And it is the general optical council that look after optometrists. This obviously varies from practitioner to practitioner, but in the case of concerns from a general practitioner, an optometrist would be quite keen, I think, to see the patient quickly and would do their very best to see the patient as soon as possible. It often helps if the general practitioner can phone the optometrist or send a note with a patient. Sadly, not at the moment, but there are plans in place for secure network connections for all optical practices around Scotland. And so going forward, we'll be able to refer directly to the general practitioner and include our retinal digital pictures as well. So that'll make the referral process so much easier. The Scottish optometrists are very much geared up now to dealing with patients with problems and conditions, which we can deal with now in practice. Um, all Scottish optometrists are now working under a new contract, which came into place in April 2006. Uh, all optometrists had to sit an assessment and we've been very fortunate in receiving good Scottish Government funding uh, in order to equip our practices much better. So I think Scottish optometrists are now very much in a position to deal with patients with headaches uh, referred from their general practitioner. Well as well as assessing a patient's vision and identifying whether there's any problems with that, when we're examining a patient who is suffering from headaches which might be caused by a tumour, we take particular note of the patient's optic disc using uh, binocular biomicroscopy. This allows the optometrist to get a 3D view through a dilated pupil and allows a very good assessment of the optic disc looking for papilledema in particular. We also benefit from having retinal cameras within our practices and this will allow us to take a digital picture of the patient's retina as well as this, we will also be able to assess the patient's visual field using a bold perimeter, which again is available in all community practices. These three examinations would allow the optometrist to make a very good assessment of the patient's eye and to note whether there's any problems with papilledema. Normally an optometrist would refer a patient via the general practitioner, but in the case of papilledema where the patient needs to be seen urgently, most practitioners would refer directly, and in this case I think directly to an ophthalmologist, which is the practitioner we would normally refer into. Since April 2006, all patients have received NHS-funded eye examinations within Scotland, so there's no charge to the patient. <laughs>